Hello there lovers and friends. Today I'm joined by my lover and my friend Mr. Jared Brady and we're talking about what do you do in <laughs> relationships where you, you just get- You spill water all over me. Oh, uh, my bad, sorry. Jeez. Okay. All right, let's can start again. Can you get a towel? Let's start again. Can you get a towel? We can just pick it back up. Like we just started the video. It's the littlest bit of water that I spilled. It's I a get little bit of film. Like we can. No, just... I know, but we have to refocus the camera. We're it's already set. It's not a set. big deal. I'm not, I got I know water it's not a big all deal. over That's me. That's why I'm saying let's just continue can you, going. Please. Is it that hard? You're not even sorry. We all know how important it is to feel loved in romantic relationships, but it's not until someone is either crying or screaming that we recall how crucial it is to feel understood. And a part of understanding our partners is knowing when we've up when we've hurt them, whether that was intentional or not. And unfortunately, saying sorry is often not enough, because if it were, all arguments would end here. Oh, uh, my bad, sorry. You know, in disagreements, when one person is like, what do you want me to say? I already said I was sorry. And the other person is like, no, actually you did it. What they're really saying is, you didn't speak my apology language. You didn't say sorry in a way that makes me feel resolved. And since they are the one who's been slighted, they're the one who gets to call the shots. Apology languages are a genius way of thinking about conflict resolution, and it was created by the same minds behind the five love languages. Now, knowing what your partner's specific apology language is can turn this. Oh man, it's so crazy running to you, man. Good to see oh, you. Good, All right, have a good one. What's up? Let's go. What's up? What's going Once on? again, you didn't introduce me. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I, look, we have, we were caught up in the moment. We were talking. Just next time, you introduce yourself. Next time, introduce myself into this. Come on, man. Like, it's so embarrassing. Uh, I, I know I dropped the ball. I'm sorry. As you tell me this all the time. I'm working on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> The five different apology languages are expressing regret, genuinely repenting. Oh man. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Accepting responsibility. I dropped the ball. I'm sorry. You tell me this all the time. I'm working on it. Making restitution. Let me put this back. I'm so sorry. And requesting forgiveness. Ah. Do you forgive me? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is so important to note that when it comes to apology languages, hell, even love languages or turn on triggers, any of these quizzes that we are going to be doing, yes, naturally, all of us like all of these things. Which of us would not like a partner who expresses regret, makes restitution, and accepts responsibility. But what we're trying to do with these quizzes is give our partners a point of clarity. We are building a foundation to say, this is the bare minimum. This is the most important thing to me. And then yes, we can go on to nuances after that. Try to think about it like a roadmap. You're giving somebody a map who's never successfully been somewhere before and saying, here's how you get from A, conflict, to be resolution. Now, once they get good at this route, can you say, stop at Chipotle on the way? Absolutely. So that is what you are doing when you give someone your apology language or your love language or your turn on trigger. You are giving this person the foundation. You are essentially giving them the cheat code for how to get you out of your emotions and into the moment. How you can stop making the conflict so explosive and now it can become productive. So for example, I know in my relationship that Jared requires for me to accept responsibility. If he brings up a slight and the first thing that I do is say that I'm sorry, but then go, but this morning you did, I've just added an extra hour onto the disagreement and now his emotions are even more heightened. The best thing I can do if I want the conflict to become constructive is to accept responsibility and say, my bad, I completely dropped the ball. I should have not have done that. Like, you're right. And maybe 20 minutes later, I can get to the whole nuances of what happened this morning as to why I acted that way. But I know the first thing that he requires is for me to accept responsibility. My apology language is making restitution. And I mean it like in the most literal way. Like if you break my watch, offer to fix it. If I'm out with Jared and I'm like, I feel like you're being really distant. I don't really feel connected to you. 
what I'm really saying is, can we make out right this second? And once we do that, we can move on to the other, again, more constructive side of conflict resolution. And so knowing someone's apology language is not about breezing past things. It's not about making the argument as quick as possible. Because I do think that conflict can be a really healthy part of a relationship and an opportunity for people to get to know each other better. But you want to get your partner out of fight or flight mode. You want to get them out of you versus me mode. And I think knowing someone's apology language is an awesome way to accomplish that. I'm making it my personal mission to turn all of you into relationship experts. I believe that every single person on this planet deserves access to the tools to create the kinds of relationships, romantic or not, that they actually desire. And that is what my book, The Game of Desire, Five Surprising Secrets to Dating with Dominance is all about. When you get the book, you get to read about the true and sometimes truly turbulent story of how I took six awesome but chronically single women through my five phase program in hopes of making them all their own dating experts. Well, today I want to start this program with you as well. And the first of the five secrets is know. You got to know yourself inside and out. You got to know who you are and who you're not. And to help you accomplish this, I am gifting you all with my self summary workbook, no strings attached. It is comprised of my absolute favorite quizzes like the apology language, personality assessments, and activities that I have collected throughout my 10 plus years of being obsessed with intimacy. And now you can find all of these things in one solid place. And when you complete this workbook, I promise you, you will be in a position to transform not just your romantic relationships, but your relationships with everyone overall. And best of all, when you do complete it, I have an extra surprise just for you. Okay, so you have your homework. Go ahead and go do that. But before you leave, just for fun in the comment section below, I would love to know what was your last argument about? Oh, come on. Um, come. What are you doing? Explain who you are. You about to hit me? Yes. Come on. <laughs> and you. I'm not a good actor. You know this. I understand that, but it's it's freaking water, yo. It's water. <laughs> Yeah, freaking water, yo. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> it felt natural. <laughs> Shit, y'all. That's a garbage truck. I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good. No, I like it. I'm not good. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is why I don't even like doing videos with you because you always what? gotta like, you always gotta like bring it into. <laughs> You're a bad actor. No, I'm in really character. <laughs> What? She said, if sorry you were to get so it, let's move on. If you were so I'm doing so good and he's ruining it. See what I need is you to take a break and get a towel and we can I, move I, on from this. You you better fucking yeah. <laughs> no. I'm not getting the towel. If she leaves with me, she gonna get it. If she leaves with two, she gonna hate it. If she comes with